Prologue. I haven't always been as self-disciplined as I am today. Although when I was growing up, I had more self-discipline than most kids. As a teenager and young 20-something, I lost it. I had an unhealthy diet, exercised little, was overweight, and didn't have sufficient discipline to make some important lasting changes. Today, I regularly wake up at five or six in the morning, go to the gym three times a week, and regularly practice several sports, including rock climbing, Krav Maga, tennis, and cycling. I maintain a healthy diet and constantly work on new, challenging goals, striving to become a better person. It took me years to fully grasp how to develop powerful long-term discipline. Now, I'd like to share what I've learned with you. In my first course about self-discipline, how to build self-discipline, resist temptations, and reach your long-term goals, I approach the subject of building self-discipline from the perspective of developing impulse control. In this course, you'll learn the ins and outs of building long-term daily self-discipline rather than just situational willpower. While how to build self-discipline was more focused on techniques to deal with specific problems, develop daily self-discipline is about turning yourself into a person who becomes more self-disciplined with each day. In addition to discussing tips to help you grow self-discipline, we'll also discuss various ways to become a mentally stronger person. If you find it difficult to keep pushing in spite of obstacles, or if you feel you lack willpower to continue when motivation runs out and discomfort kicks in, Develop Daily Self-Discipline is for you. The course is broken down into lessons that discuss the general idea and provide general tips, specific habits to introduce more self-control in your daily life, and exercises to grow your self-discipline. To avoid my having to repeat disclaimers throughout the course, please exercise caution whenever following any of my tips particularly the ones related to your health. I am not a doctor, psychologist, priest, or anyone with formal credentials to tell you what you should do with your life. I'm not qualified to make any decisions for you or give you any health recommendations, particularly if you suffer from chronic conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, or mental illness of any kind, including mild depression. Now, Let's get down to business and talk about the fundamental key of self-discipline.